Rip the bandaid off. Uh, it killed all the desires of where we are over a year later. Yeah. later. Alright, we're here at the Battle Axe Gym in Miami with one of my best friends and mentors, Brian Carroll who is the author and the creator of 1020 Life, which is a strength and conditioning philosophy. We're here to talk about the principles of 1020 Life, how um, they can be applied to different um, endeavors, mainly in this area, um, strongman and powerlifting. And I'm here to talk about 1020 Life with him. It's been something that I've been doing for several years now, pretty much even from the beginning when I started powerlifting, even though Brian wasn't doing my programming back then, Bert was doing my programming, which was he was a pupil of yours at the right, time. Right. And so um, so that's all I've ever done when I've been a powerlifter. It's really helped me. Um, I'm going to be helping him with that. And then I'm also going to be talking about keto and how keto can be used for strength athletes. I have right now um, someone on a power building routine. I have someone on a bodybuilding routine. I have, you know, different clients. And it's all within the, you know, the 1020 Life principles. But um, the other thing that we can talk about and what I'm going to talk about today is how keto can be used not only if you want to switch to it completely, but even strategically. Like, like, why don't you tell them about your um, experience with keto and, and what it did for you? Yeah, so last summer I had a lot of inflammation after competing a lot for about a year straight. And uh, my diet was just kind of one of those things that I was burnt out with. I was tired of tinkering. So I reached out to Danny last July and said, hey, would you write me up a keto plan? So for all of July, I followed a very strict, you know, not even 20 carbs a day keto plan. Felt so much better. Um, from there, I started strength training again, uh, heavier, because I kind of took July off from heavy training. And uh, September, or August, September, October, I did a modified keto plan that we worked together on. Yep. Why and, did you tell uh, me, what, what did you, you added rice uh, the night before a heavy day, mm -hmm. and then rice in the morning, or, what, or, or cream of wheat? Or what yeah, you depending on when I was training, Saturday mornings I train, Monday night I train, Wednesday night I train, Thursday night I train. So, Strategically put complex carbs at a time that um, you know I could utilize them before training, but everything else was just fats and, and then some protein. But the biggest reason why I did it, aside the inflammation, was I just had a bad attachment to food. I, I like to eat for gratification. I like to eat a lot of junk food. Um, so what I would end up doing is eating the basic, the the, the, the the bare minimum good food, just so I could get to the food I wanted to eat. And just the month of pure keto helped me break that, and I'm still doing it today where I pretty much don't keep any junk food in the house. Awesome. So what is 1020 Life? Why don't you explain to them what, what it is? What it stands for is 10 and 20 weeks at a time for a lifetime of positive momentum in training and in life. So we all know that when we uh, get into a rut with training, we struggle mentally, physically, and it snowballs. Positive momentum builds, it snowballs for good. Bad momentum snowballs for the bad. So. What I've established my philosophy is five key points that we hammer home to everybody and it's to help keep you in check and to help you from uh, driving into the ditch and build that strength and that capacity over time and uh, have it utilized for life. What do you think is the biggest adjustment someone has to make when they switch to 1020 Life? What, what, what's the biggest obstacle that they got to get over? That's a great question. Um, what we do is we start with the baseline. It's something middle of the road. And a lot of people are not used to doing so little work. And they look at it and say, this isn't going to be enough, as it looks like a little bit of volume on paper. But what it is, is a moderate amount. What I ask people to do, and I explain this very thoroughly in the book, is to start around here and then add only as necessary. So the great Buddy Morris, strength and conditioning coach of the Arizona Cardinals, said this, and it stuck with me over the last four years. And it's do as much as necessary, not as much as possible. You can always add more or take away, but start somewhere in the middle of the road. And again, I think a lot of people fail because they try to do too many things at once, try to add in too, too many variables, uh, and they don't know what works and what doesn't, and they end up beating themselves up and overtraining. That's exactly what I thought it was going to be, and, and, and I have dealt with it so many times when I'm, 
I'm starting someone on something. It's obvious that they're coming to me because what's, what they're doing is not working. And when I tell them to do something different than what they've been doing, they're, they're wondering how they're going to move forward. And, and it, chances are, in my experience, you're doing too much. Either you're training too hard or you're training too intense or your volume is too high. And over and over, you see it again where someone who's super strong in the gym and is hitting like really good numbers four or five weeks from, from their meet, and all of a sudden on meet day, they total 150, 200 pounds less than they, sh they could have because they blew their, their load and they're, they're done. Yeah. You know? yeah, or you have the person that doesn't want to compete, just wants to build strength and look, look good, they end up getting really hurt and that's totally unnecessary, especially if you're not trying to be an elite athlete or compete. So what we're gonna do, the next book that we're gonna roll out together is myself, Danny, and a guy named Tucker Loken who lives in LA right now. And he's a bodybuilder. I'm the power lifter background. You're kind of the hybrid in between. This book is going to be for several different groups, honestly. Um, it's for power lifters who have really bad um, body composition that's not helping their total, for bodybuilders who are trying to get into um, power lifting, and for everyday people who want to be jacked and they want to be strong and do well in the gym. Yeah, they want to have the best of the both, both worlds. And we know that, yes, one or actually both will suffer if you're trying to have the best of both worlds, but a lot of people aren't worried about being the best bodybuilder in the world and the best power lifter. So they want something in between that's sustainable. They want to look good and be strong and not be all go and no shit, right? That's it, yeah. So this is something we're going to be working on over the next six months heavily. Uh, we've done some work on it. It's come a long way, but there's still a lot of work to do and really looking forward to digging in this project and having it released probably sometime next spring. And uh, we're going to cover a whole bunch of stuff, not just diet and training, but the approach. We're going to cover form for someone who wants to build muscle, which is going to be a little bit different than someone who wants to just strictly lift as much weight as possible because your physique will suffer when that happens. Yeah, yeah, definitely an adjustment for me. Um, we've learned a lot from each other. Like Tucker has learned from me. I've learned a lot from Tucker from what he was talking about with the form and the tempo and all those things. So. Um, that's going to be pretty much a, a very comprehensive thing. It's going to have diet. It's going to have keto, a keto section. It's going to have the same um, structure as a 1020 Life book. Customizable. Everything. Customizable. Yep. So, um, yeah, look out for that and um, and check it out when it comes out. Probably be within the next seven, eight months. Yeah. 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 Next, Look for it next spring. And it's going to be basically the two worlds colliding into one, bodybuilding, powerlifting. This is going to be for the average gym goer that wants to look the part and be able to lift some weight behind it. That's it.